Okay, so did you catch it? Did you see kind of the strange artifact here? Yesterday, OpenAI released a new video model, Sora 2, and yeah, big bit of a surprise. I didn't see this coming. Uh, I had a look at some of the videos, and the physics uh, looks pretty interesting. So I think I will try to get a hold of this model. I don't have access yet. Uh, but in my talking points, you can see this is supposed to be free. So, of course, that is with uh, restrictions because you don't, don't get unlimited access. But uh, you will be able to create some videos for free, I think. Uh, but there are some, I think there are some invitational only at the moment. And it's supposed to be rollout in US and Canada only. Uh, there are a pro model too, I think, where you can try this experimental model with longer outputs and stuff. Uh, if you are on the $200... Um, yeah, subscription. For technical improvements, you can now do 16 seconds. That is, of course, double the length of VO3. So that is kind of one up, I think. Uh, I don't think that's random, right? And the resolution can now be 1080p out. Uh, I think it was that before, uh, but not for 16 seconds. Native audio is new. We're going to look at some examples of native audio combined with the physics that I think sounded and looked pretty good. Uh, and like I said, improve physics and world understanding. You can now do complex actions, gymnastics, backflips, and obstacle courses look more realistic. That was very specific. So OpenAI is calling it the GPT 3.5 moment for video, okay? Uh, they have a new cameo feature where you can kind of put yourself in the video. Again, this is not something new, but they have done it a bit differently. So we can take a quick look at an example here from their stream feature in a little bit more detail. You're probably wondering, how do you set this up? What do the permissions look like? How do we keep this safe? Um, so let's jump in here. It's my profile. I'm going to click Edit Cameo. In this screen, you'll see a number of Cameo settings. Before we jump into the settings, I want to talk about how OK, so you can see he just takes an image from himself. He kind of creates a character that can be placed in different videos. So you can see he can pick from only me, people I approve, mutuals, and everyone. And yeah. This looks to be some kind of, I don't know if it's a marketplace, but somewhere you can share your character that other people can use too. I don't know, that seems a bit sus to me. But I guess for only me and maybe your friends, this could be fun, right? Uh, but I don't think I'm at least not going to share my character avatar with voice uh, and my looks to everyone. That seems a bit uh, strange, right? So they said this is like a marquee feature, but it's not something new, right? This has been done in other models too. And you can place your character into any scene. I guess they do it a bit different here. Uh, it also clones your voice, like I said. Uh, that is, of course, also something you wouldn't really share with everyone. Uh, there are some privacy controls like we talked about, but uh, yeah. And you can see uh, this is going to be a mobile first app. So it's initially on only iOS. Like I said, US Canada only. And like I said, there's a Sora 2 Pro model that we've been able to the pro users. So now let's take a look at some of the examples I really enjoyed. It was the one with the physics and the one with the native audio. Okay, so the first one is a guy doing some backflips, right? And also we have native audio here. So I'm just gonna play this and then I'm gonna stop it. Yeah. Oh, landing. yeah, that was pretty cool, right? So he did that three backflips in a row, and I couldn't really have much uh, to pick on on the physics there. Uh, next up is this girl doing this pole vaults, and again, I think this uh, is pretty cool. So again, there's just a few things you can pick on here, right? Uh, like when she lands, I think here something. She's sort of off the, um, <laughs> the vault but uh, or like the the beam but she still makes it uh, but it looks pretty good right and i was super impressed by actually these four videos we're gonna watch now Cannonball. <laughs> <That's cold. laughs> so yeah i think uh, sora did a great job on the water physics in also the previous version and this seems even better now so there's not a lot to pick on again here on this clip. My, got it. Up, 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 up. Cover middle. Outside, outside. I'm on it. Set. Go. Oh, oh. Close. Nice swing. Point. Good job, y'all. Okay, so did you catch it? Did you see kind of the strange artifact here? Uh, it was really hard to pick up, or at least uh, you you would know it if you had played volleyball on the beach. 
Uh, I think you can see it uh, if we get... So everything was pretty good up to this point. When the ball lands here now, it makes this weird bounce. Let's watch it back. It's a nice swing. Point. Good job, yo. Yeah, I guess you saw it, right? It kind of bounced right. A bit strange here. It's very high <laughs> for uh, being on the sand, right? Uh, other than that, pretty good. Uh, the next one I really enjoyed. This was the skating one, and this was one of the one I think was most impressive. Yeah, I just think he nails everything about this clip, right? It nails kind of the landing, and especially when the way he falls off the skateboard is pretty good. Because if you've seen a lot of skate videos, this is kind of exactly kind of the, the type of movement that happens. And maybe for my favorite clip, uh, the dog here uh, that does this obstacle course, as they mentioned, uh, this was really enjoyable. And again, not a lot to pick here. So let's just watch this in full before we do the wrap up. <laughs> Yeah, that's so cool, right? Uh, what I really like about this clip is the speed. The speed makes it look much more realistic, right? Because uh, if you turn off the sound here and play it back, you can see kind of the speed here makes this look much more... Yeah, the physics just looks better when everything has this realistic feeling of the speed the dog is moving in. Some of the other models were very slow. And yeah, that was the clips I enjoyed the most, and yeah. I'm kind of impressed, but of course, I need to try it out myself. This could be very cherry-picked clips, so that's going to be in a future episode. So yeah, I think that's what I have on Sora 2 so far. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I saw something also about OpenAI pushing for a social media platform. Not a big fan of that, I gotta say. Do we really need another competitor to TikTok and Reels? Uh, yeah, that's just very strange. I don't... I don't understand that. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is Sora 2. Uh, go check it out if you have the invitation code. I'm going to do a video on it later. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.